Well, FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a 5-4 defeat to St Albans in the National League South. Adam, uh, reflecting on that, how do you feel after that one? Um, definitely a game for the neutral, isn't it? Uh, you know, lots of goals, very entertaining. Um, but yeah, I think some of the defending on display was shambolic at best, um, to be honest. Um, got to take responsibility a bit, like, um, sub, bring Miki on and you know, two goals have come from down that side. Um, so yeah, got to hold my hands up on that and take a bit of responsibility. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, I'd say just whenever you can't can't fault the players' effort and commitment, but it always seems to be there after we go a goal down. Um, you know, it's the same last Saturday we got back to one all, and then we all of a sudden go up a few gears. Um, and yeah, we've got something we've got to address. Uh, distinct lack of like leaders on the pitch. Um, Aaron Racine going away is obviously a massive blow. Um, no Joe Rye. Um, Tutty's back from cust or whatever again. Um, so yeah, uh, real disappointing, disappointing day because um, you know definitely thought that um, you know we'd done enough to get out something out of it. Um, whether the goalkeeper should, I'm not forgetting players sent off and blaming referees because you know we wasn't nowhere near at our best. But you know, Lewis has gone round him, just kind of tap it into an empty net. Uh, so don't understand his decision there. I thought there was a blatant penalty second half um, that he didn't give. Um, so yeah, um, all in all, like, we, we we can't be blaming anyone but ourselves. I thought, you know, like I say, our defending was, was shambolic. Um, if they got into our box six times every time we got in there with the on score. Um, so yeah, plenty for us to address and I've you know, got to put it right, we can't be going into home games and having to score five goals to try and get a point. Um, you know, that's off the back of keeping clean sheets. Um, good run in January and then uh, manager of the month, obviously Curse has, has come along and, and killed us. Uh, February we've gone completely the other way, but like, like I said to the players, like now's the time to ramp everything up, be professional, um, you know, and we obviously simply haven't done that. We tried to change things around a little bit and get the players in early, give them some pre-match and, and try and be as professional as we can. Um, and obviously, <laughs> didn't work out how we, how we wanted it to. So, yeah. Um, you know, good that we're scoring four goals and creating chances, but you know, not very good our defensive play today. Talk about the players missing from the defence. I understand Aaron Racine was that unexpected because um, it wasn't mentioned on Thursday. No, yeah, he's uh, got a, his dad's 60th. That is been three years in the making. Um, so family holiday with them. So knew it was coming. He told me he'd start of the season, but obviously. When you get yourself in our kind of position and it comes around, it's quite typical, and it? it comes around when you know in a game that would have suited him down to the ground playing against the number nine today. Um, you know, we didn't win what, nowhere near enough headers against him, did we? Um, you know, and one time we do try and nick it, then they break on us and go and score. So, yeah, um, it is what it is. Um, you know, you can't, can't put all the blame his way. He's told me um, start of the season that it was going to happen, <laughs> just bad timing. Uh, it was a little bit changed with the defence, but Liam Vincent uh, was a left back at the start of the game today. Is that something you see him doing more often as the season goes on? Yeah, well, that's his position, but I thought, you know, he'd be the first to admit, hopefully, that he was way off it today. Um, I was hoping for an hour out of him, but, you know, he looked flagging, didn't he, after half hour. So, you know, um, yeah, on the ball, weren't sharp enough and, you know, lack of energy um, from him. So, yeah, something that we about to change. Um, you know, probably you know, hindsight been a wonderful thing. JB will be kicking himself that we didn't bring him on and you know, maybe he could have done that. But um, yeah, it is what it is. Um, like I say, uh, nowhere near our best, a lot of our, our team today and we've got to, got to lock it down and, and work on it. Um, the third goal I'll, I'll take responsibility for because you know that's what I'm encouraging Danny to get on the ball there. I thought we had enough time to make a pass but um, got cut out and then went scored so got to, you know, have to take full responsibility for, for that one and you know it was a crucial one um, but yeah some of the other goals um, I think we've got players back and you know they're just passing it into, into our net um, so yeah there's a lot of passion and um, that at the end of the game uh, when we come in the dressing room but that's, that's easy isn't it I mean if you want to sit up there 
as, as supporters and you know as, as management team, we want to sit out there uh, for the 90 minutes. And I think we did have a go. We showed a lot of endeavour. We kept trying to get back in the game, um, but like I say, simply we've, we've got to be better. Awesome. Thank you. Guys. Cheers. Thanks.